seems to be the problem here, Jay. Not a good day. <laughs> My toilet don't work. <laughs> and I find out why, because it's all frozen. <laughs> Look at all the ice on there. That's not cool. This is supposed to be heated, but... Yeah, I don't believe everything you hear. This one, I don't think I can get off. All this is supposed to be heated, but for some reason, our toilet overflowed and drained our fresh water tank into our pipelines. So everything froze in here. So hopefully, once we get it thawed out, we don't have some huge problems. So where are we, Jay? We're in Alberta. Is it the uh, medicine at Alberta? And we're what? Out of well, the people that we bore, we got our horses stayed over. One of those bread and, or whatever you call it. Bed and bales? Bed and bales. The, uh, the neighbor owns the shop, so he allowed us to come in here, which we really appreciated, and uh, fix the issues that we have so we can uh, carry on our journey. So hopefully our journey isn't going to be a lot of money. Uh, see, that's uh, what's on our pipes right now. <laughs> now I'm the hoping that, ice that cube. I'm hoping that that's just. I'm hoping that's from the water from the inside. Well, yeah, that's probably the water that came from the toilet when it flooded the RV, and then froze. But we could have a lot of connections that are leaking, or cracked, or split. What's that line down that pipe there? Huh? What's that line down that pipe there underneath the pump? This one? No, under the pump. It's coming straight down, right there. What's oh, that? It joins up into the water No, line. but do you see the line in this it? One. Yes, but do you see the, what is that? Is that uh, a crack? It's just, no, that's just, this one has a tent, see? Where did we shut off here? Maybe it needs to be turned up heat-wise. Would this thing bake already? Jesus, we are just not having a good day. Oh, put it on the 1500 for more heat. <laughs> We've had nothing but problems. Not to mention we still have what, we still have trailer lights to fix too that went yeah, but that's minor compared to this. Yeah. See, what I want to do is I want to run a hose very straight through here. And it'll lay on top of this tank. Actually, I might run it over here. And then out. And I want to strap it right here. And that uh, basically... I'm kind of wondering if it shouldn't be here, though. <clears throat> Do the top lines look frozen? Huh? All the top lines. No, they're, they're bending a little bit. I don't know, I don't want to bend them too much. Because <laughs> they... <clears throat> yeah, this stuff is frozen solid. Oh, See, all this water sitting in there is what's caused it for... It froze the bottom pipes. Which is the pipe that supply everything. You see, this one runs down and then it supplies, yeah, it supplies everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's faded in a way. I'm just gonna have to leave it and see what happens. So, anyways, we're gonna need to run this hose right across that tank and hook it into this that big black pipe right there. That big black pipe right there is where the heat goes up into here so what we're going to do is put this Y pipe and we're going to run the heat that way and this way so we should be able to run this across the tank 
which will keep the tank it'll heat the top of the tank as well as over there where, where it comes out for the uh, for the water pump and everything I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that though so anyways stay tuned I'm gonna be back <laughs> now we have heat right through here all the way up to here and a nice warm breeze right there that's how you fix it this is all thawed and good to go so, so don't do what I did uh, we were we stopped in Thunder Bay and I forgot our um, horse buckets that we put on the side of the trailer so we stopped in Winnipeg bought two new ones uh, they were orange and gee lo and behold the trailer door opened somehow the man door and they blew out so now I got these green ones so hopefully I don't forget these ones somewhere in the road again Imagine 
seeing that coming.
So we stopped here at the top of Kootenay Pass in uh, British Columbia and the signs here say we have caribou to watch out for. This is an avalanche risk area and we're also going to be going down an 8% grade. So we've stopped here to check our brakes, make sure everything's uh, pretty good to keep going. It's going to be a little scary. The roads are covered in snow. So that's where the avalanches areas are. So this is where we are right now, the top of one of the mountains in the Rockies. So, it's a little bit uh, nerve-wracking. So, yeah, see there's the sign for checking your brakes before we head down. Snow banks up here are about five feet, six feet high already. So, should be interesting. People are going out cross country skiing in the mountain. It's kind of cool. Horses are taking a break. Let them get some fresh air before we close them up and hit the road again. Going out skiing. Gonna hit the trails out in the Kootenay Pass Mountain. We're getting ready to head down. Coming into beautiful Osoyos, BC, this place is breathtaking. The, the video doesn't even compare to what you could see here. 
just uh, we're taking Highway 3 in down the mountain with hairpin turns and enjoy the day. subscribe and if you like it hit the like button and if you definitely like it share it with a friend <laughs> <laughs> even hit the bell and you'll see our next video so remember live love, love ride, ride.